Oh, brother. Woo. All right, let's get this video started. What's up, YouTube? Leo Shane here, host of the Extreme Fully Fishing channel. Today is February 7th, 2018. My outing number 12 of this year. And man, I'm already super tired. Day two down here in Florida, we fished really hard yesterday, right? On camera and off camera. So before I start the video for today, I would like to give you guys a little recap of our trip so far, just so we, you all know how many species we have caught during the trip so far, okay? Uh, yesterday we fished different places and the last fish that we caught in the last video I believe it was a sergeant major, the Abu Defduf Saxatilis. After I finished filming the video, I actually did a live stream for YouTube where we landed a few other species of fish. But among those species, I caught my first ever Harry Blaney. All right, that was very, very cool. I ended up actually catching the male and the female Harry Blaney. All right, so that was like a bonus. We also ended up catching a few Bermuda chub that I, I'm not showing you guys on camera because I didn't film it. And I even caught my first ever, this is pretty cool, my first ever is spotted soap fish, all right? I mean, how cool is that, right? If you guys are longtime fans of Extreme Fully Fishing, you have seen all my Florida videos. You know that a while back I did a collaboration with One Rod, One Rod Fishing. And in that video, he actually landed uh, a white spotted soap fish, you know, and I was just like, man, that is so cool, you know. I never seen one of those before, so even though we didn't land a white spotted one, you know, it's still very cool. That was my first ever soap fish. Then at nighttime, you know, I didn't film either because you know you guys hate nighttime videos. But at nighttime, I ended up going to the angling spear. I landed a bunch of different types of grunts but I would like to give emphasis, I added the white grunge to our Florida species is lamb, even though this is not a species lamb, I added the white grunge and the black margage, okay? So that's uh, definitely an extra bonus. Finally, before we start the video for today, I would like to clarify, there was one fish on my first evening down here in Florida that I wasn't sure what it was, right? I, I wasn't sure if it was a mangrove snapper, or a dog snapper. After looking up the internet and looking up the books, you know, I brought a book with me. I came to the conclusion that that was a dog snapper, all right? It had like the blue line under its eye that the mangrove snapper doesn't have it like that long and separated. It had a little faint triangle under the eye light, right? That is typical of the dog snapper. Also, it's got yellow on the fins, okay? Not to mention that when the mouth was closed, you could still see the teeth. So, you know, I'm adding that as a new species as well. Total, until now, okay, we're starting the second day with 21 species of fish down here in Florida. We are here at the North New River Canal. We gotta do some, oh man, we gotta do a lot today, you know? So. First and foremost, I gotta go to the bait shop. I gotta get some shiners. We gotta do some shiner fishing in this video and maybe use some lures. I don't know, man. I'm kind of chilling, you know? Whatever happens, happens. Okay, we are four minutes into this video. Hopefully today is gonna be a good fishing session. 21 species. Let's try to punch it up to at least, at least 30 by the end of the day, right? All right, stay tuned. All righty, so I just went to the tackle shop, got a bucket full of shiners gotta give you guys a little zoom in here check this out huh holy cow we got two dozens of small small shiners right over here look at that how lively they are plus i also purchased this thing it is in the bucket i don't know if you guys can see probably not right here look at that look at that it's a little oxygen tab kind of thing i never heard of this before look like a little candle but when you put inside here Apparently, it gives the fish oxygen for a few hours. It kind of bubbles a little bit. Pretty cool stuff, you know? So the game plan for today, fairly simple. We got to walk up and down the canal and we just got to live line the shiners, right? Free lining the shiners with just a small, uh, yeah, uh, with just a small gamakatsu hook, you know? 
So hopefully we're gonna catch some peacock bass, some gar, but there's one species in particular that I am really looking forward to catch, and that is the big mouth sleeper. I've been trying to catch this fish for a long, long time, and it hasn't happened yet. So hopefully, it's gonna happen today. We will see. Oh, fish on, fish on, fish on, fish on. So, what is that? What is that? Oh, 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 oh. Is that a snook? What is that? So, new species. New species for me. No, 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 no. Hell no. Woo. It's a small one. It's a small one but it is a snook, check that out. Now, what type of snook this is? Uh, we will have to figure out later. This is my first ever snook though. <laughs> Species number 199 for me is starting good here at the canal, check that out. Huh? As Peric says usually, snook on the house. Huh? All right, I just took a few shots of my first ever snook i'm not sure yet what type of snook this is a lot of people tend to believe that there's only one type of snook down in florida which is not true okay there are actually four species in florida that is pretty common to these areas and the common snook is only one of them so the common snook is also the one that grows the biggest so i mean i don't know yet which one is this one it could be just a small common snook it could be one of the other ones we gotta revive it a little bit here, and when it's ready to go, it's just gotta go. But man, first fish of the day, you know, this is uh, this is legit, man. This is legit. Oh, there it goes, there it goes, there it goes. Look at that. There, look at that, huh? Schnook! Oh, son, action has been pretty slow today, so far. I missed two bites over here at this little inlet, outlet area, as you guys can see. But uh, we only got one snook for the whole day. I've been, I've been at it for about one hour, one hour and 15 minutes. I missed two bites over here, though. I think both of them were gar. It wasn't like that aggressive of a bite. You know, the line didn't just go like zoom, you know. It felt like something was on my shiner, you know. So I'll fish here for a little bit more. We're gonna walk up and down the canal and uh, hopefully we will land some more fish in this video. Oh, fish on, fish on, finally. Oh yeah, finally, finally. Damn son, not bad, not bad, not bad. Not bad, not bad, ooh, nice. Damn dude. After missing two bites here, dude. Let's land this peacock over here. Hell yeah. Think I'm gonna, wait, is that a peacock? Or is that just, yeah, that's a peacock. Hell yeah, dude. After eating my shiner like that, you know, you think I just gonna let you go like this? Free meal and everything? Wow, dude, that's a, that's a beauty, man. That's truly, this peacock here at the canal are truly beautiful. Ah. After missing two bites like that, man, no way I'm gonna let the peacock bass go away, yeah? This dude has been eating all my shiners down there. Beautiful sample. <laughs> you know, the, the funny part is I'm from Brazil, born and raised in Brazil. You come to Florida to catch the Tucunaré, right? But uh, anyways, let's take a shot and we gotta release this guy. Final view of our butterfly peacock right here. Beautiful colors on this fella, right? But apparently there's something wrong with this fish. Check that out. I don't know exactly what it is that is happening to his tongue, but he's got some nasty stuff going on in, in him, you know, or her. But needless to say, let's release this guy here. Second catch of the day on the live shiner. Very, very cool, you know? At least we know there's some fish around 
and they're willing to buy on the shiners right all right there we go dude they're super aggressive you know he gave he gave me a run for his money man all right you gotta be all right oh dude oh wow holy moly yeah it was ready to go man Fish on! Fish on! Son! What the hell, dude? Oh! I lost it. The hook is still here. I mean, you know, it just got him hooked. It's all right. It was just a peacock. Maybe two, two and a half pounds, you know? No big deal, we got that species already. Fish on! Oh son! Oh son! Oh son! Oh son! Hell yeah! Hell yeah! Hell yeah! Hell yeah! Hell yeah! Dude, there's a bunch of peacock. There's a bunch of peacock right here. Are you kidding me? Peacock paradise? Is that what they said? Damn, son, look at that. It's smaller than the last one. I would take it. So feisty. So feisty, man. Damn, there's just a bunch of peacock right next to the bridge, man. We lost one that was a little bit bigger than this one. But hey healthy you know they all look so healthy look beautiful dot here on the tail it's got the orange here on the face brother and they put up a good fight one thing about them though all of them got sores in their mouths for some reason look at this one on top of the mouth huh it's got sores here i don't know why but hey man another fish for today peacock bass are biting good at least you know what i'm saying Hell yeah! Hell yeah, dude! They're all around here! Peacock paradise! <laughs> Fish on! Ooh! It's a largemouth bass! That's what's going on. <laughs> I thought it was a peacock. No, it's just a bass. Which, in my personal opinion, is a waste of shiner. But, you know, I mean, you come here to Florida. I don't like to catch largemouth bass at all. Dude, this is a super dark largemouth bass, too. Check that out. Super dark. But that's another species, right? That we have come down here to Florida. And uh, we actually caught, you know? Only little shiner. All right, let's take a few shots and release this guy. All righty, here we go. Final view of our large mouth bass here. I mean, it is super dark, right? Because it's it, because it comes from a brackish canal. But needless to say, it is a very beautiful, healthy fish, right? Let me see. Where are we going to release this guy? Oh, let's release it over here. Yeah, this is a good spot right here. Look at that, huh? Beautiful, beautiful. Ah. Oh. Yeah, you're lucky, man. Whoa, whoa, okay, okay, dude. Damn, man, he was pissed. Fish hole. Oh, it's running to the pipe. Running to the pipe. Holy moly. No, 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 don't go into the pipe. Don't go into the pipe. Son, try to go into the pipe, dude. There's a pipe right over here. No way, dude. I ain't letting you go into the pipe. You crazy? Oh, it's a nice peacock. Dude, this is a nice, nicer peacock. Nicer peacock. We're gonna land it over here. This is a nicer peacock. Oh, it, oh, it's, oh, oh, it's gunning for the pipe. Get out of the pipe, dude. Damn, son. Stay down, stay down. Stay down. Stay down. Oh, damn, that's, no, that's a nicer peacock, man. It's a nicer peacock. Damn, son. Powerful. Powerful beasts, powerful beasts. No, 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 
trying to go under the rock now. What the hell, man? Trying to go in the pipe. Trying to go in the rock. Look at that. Now, nah, this is a nicer peacock, man. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Let's tire it a little bit more. Tire it a little bit more. We're going to land it over here. Maybe three pounder. Three, three and a half, maybe. I don't know, man. I'm really bad with this kind of stuff, but this is a nice fish. Needless to say. Oh, let's see if we can get it over here. Oh, son. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. easy. Oh, all right. That was a, that was a nice fight. Definitely a bigger, a bigger peacock right here. Look at that. Now, now, dude, this is solid, right? Solid peacock bass right here. Biggest one of the day, man. I think uh, three, three pounder maybe. A little bit more than three pounds. I don't have a scale with me. I could care less, you know, it's just a peacock bass, but nice fight. Nice fight on our gear here. Let's take a shot at this guy and uh, let's release it. Man, I just took a few photos of this guy. Not bad at all, huh? This is like my new PB peacock bass here in the United States of America. Check this out. Man, I can't emphasize enough how beautiful this fish is. Look at that. Dude, this is a gorgeous fish right here. All right, not bad, but it's time to put it back in the water. And as always, we're gonna put this fish back over here. Final view. Check that out, huh? Man, inhale that shiner, man. Like you wanted more. All right, let's put it back over here. Son, this is a very aggressive type of fish. I think it's gonna be good in no time, but uh, let, oh, damn. Like I said, you know, <laughs> don't really need to recover. Twelve forty-two. that's it time's up all right folks time is up it is 12 42 p.m right now i've been fishing the canal the whole morning we walked up and down exploring different locations but i hope you guys realize from this video right that i have it's not like i'm on the canal and i cast everywhere right there are a few very strategic spots that I stop by and then I cast the live shiner right next to it. Just free lining, you know? So today we caught the majority of our fish around bridge pilings, okay? And around culverts. Those were the two spots that I hit the most. I'm still trying a little bit here. I got a shiner, a live shiner down there, you know, kind of a dropper loop kind of thing. But uh, no bites. I think I'm gonna call it a day sadly the big mouth leaper you know once again didn't really come up but hey man we caught what largemouth bass peacock bass and uh even a new species right this nook that i believe it is a common snook i'm not sure yet but i'm almost certain the big mouth leaper didn't show up but hey you know man we got a new species needless to say right so it's time to get some lunch and then in the afternoon we gotta do something else here at the canal. Thank you very much for watching this video, needless to say. I mean, thank you very much, guys, for just follow me, following me around on my fishing adventures, right? Tight lines. I'll see you guys next time. Got it! Look at this. Look at this. Look how beautiful this fish is. You see this? This is what I'm talking about right here. The joys of microfishing. This is a jewel cichlid. All right, this is tank worthy fish right here. Look at that. Oh, do you guys see how beautiful this fish is? I believe this is a jewel cichlid, a very colorful one at that, very, very beautiful one. But dude, this is tank, tank worthy fish. This is what I'm talking about.